The video that you've all been waiting for. How do I get rid of glare and reflections when using my microscope? If you ever worked under a microscope or if you do micro soldering work and you have a microscope, you already know that when you apply flux onto a motherboard, you will be blinded by the glare and reflections on the board. You will be blinded to a point where you're not able to see the component that you are working on and you lose color saturation on the board. Let me show you what I mean. I have a MacBook motherboard here. Maybe we can try it on a blue board and on a black board. Reflection and glare is the same on all colored boards, but some boards, glare is more apparent. Let's, for example, work on this area here. Let's apply flux. So you know what I'm talking about if you have not watched this channel before. Because a lot of times in my videos, I tell you, let's get rid of the glare. And you see the glare suddenly disappear. And you ask, how do you get rid of the glare? How do you get rid of the glare? How do you get rid of reflections? And today I'm going to show you how to get rid of reflections and a glare so you can have a clean image when micro soldering. And you also have more saturated colors and a more beautiful image by getting rid of the glare. And let's work on this area. You can already see how we are blinded by the reflections, how the board lost color, everything looks black. And sometimes when you have a very crowded area, you cannot see if you have a component here or you do not have a component here. And you start to lose details or sight of what you are working with. All right, let's get rid of the glare and see the difference. Look at this. Now we are able to tell that the board is brown. We can tell brown is brown, black is black, yellow is yellow, yellow is yellow. And we can see every single component on the board. It doesn't matter how much flux we have on the board. We are able to tell where each component is and it's like we do not have any flux on the board. Let's go back to having glare to see the difference. And look at this. You're not able to tell that the board is brown in color. You're not able to differentiate colors on the board. The cap that should be yellow is now brown. Let's go back to not having glare. And I want you to look at the color of the capacitor here. Yellow, 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 yellow. And you can see all the details on the board. Let's apply flux here. And that's a donor board. I use it for parts. Let's apply flux. You can already see glare and reflections, but it will be more apparent when we start applying hot air. And let's apply hot air. I mean, just look at what happened when we applied hot air. Everything is not visible anymore. We lost all the color definitions of the components. Let's apply some more hot air, okay? Because when working on a board, you need to apply a lot of hot air to a point where you are able to desolder any specific component of the board, like this, okay? Now we cannot tell if that board is really brown or black. We are not able to tell if that component is yellow or dark yellow or black or brown or blue or whatever the case may be. I just want you to see the difference between having this image and switching over to a no glare and no reflections. Just watch. And look at this. <laughs> Magic, right? Look at that capacitor. You can tell that capacitor is yellow. You have more color saturation on the board. You can tell brown is brown. You can tell black is black. Blue is blue. And if we go back to having glare, just look at the difference. Look at the yellow capacitor. All right, just focus on this cap. And let's see. Yellow now looks black because of reflections. The glare. The board, you cannot tell if the board is brown or black. You're not able to see colors anymore. All the colors are washed out because of the glare. And that's the problem with working on boards when you have glare. A lot of times when you are working in a very crowded area, let's say you are working on a power IC on an iPad, and you apply flux and you want to work on desoldering a component, it gets very messy. You're not able to tell which is which. Am I taking out a capacitor or resistor? Sometimes you're not able to even see components. Maybe they are hidden by the glare. Like here, 
if you look at those pins here, you cannot tell what's going on. Let's switch back. Now we are able to tell that we have six pins and everything is super clear. <laughs> Magic, right? I mean, it's a big difference. You get more colors, you get rid of reflections, you get rid of flare, glare, and you have nothing but a very clean image. So how do we get rid of glare? That's the question that you've been asking for for the longest time. And today we're gonna go over it. To understand how to get rid of glare and reflections, you need to understand how light works. Let me show you an example. I have a small diagram here. And if you noticed, light coming in at an angle, let's say 45 degree angle, will exit at a 45 degree angle. Laws of physics. If light enters at a 60 degree angle, it's gonna exit at a 60 degree angle. If light enters at a 10 degree angle, it's gonna exit at a 10 degree angle. What if light enters from your ring light that's attached to your lens or to your microscope? Then light is gonna go down and then it's gonna shine back up to your lens because it entered at a 90 degree angle and it's gonna reflect back at a 90 degree angle and that's how you get glare and reflections. You see what I'm heading? Light coming down from your ring light is gonna cause reflections and glare. The trick to not having glare or reflections is to have a light shine or enter at an angle. We need to have an external light, not the ring light, an external light. Let's say we have an external light going down at a 45 degree angle. That light is gonna illuminate the board. It's gonna give you all the colors, saturation, and it will get rid of the glare because that light is exiting at a 45 degree angle. If you have it aimed at 45 degree angle, it's gonna exit at a 45 degree angle and it's not gonna go back up on the lens. What if we have two lights, one coming down from the left and one coming down from the right at a 45 degree angle, then you're gonna have more illumination on the board and you're gonna have light from the left and right. You're gonna have great light, a great image under the microscope and you're not gonna have any glare or flare because your light source is coming down at an angle. And that's it, that's the whole trick. Light coming down from your ring light that I have attached on the microscope and that ring light does have its uses. I'll go over it. Light coming down from the ring light when working with flux or any motherboard or maybe working with a shiny object, light is gonna go down and then it's gonna bounce back up at the same angle. It enters at a 90 degree angle, it's gonna exit and go back up to the lens at a 90 degree angle causing flare, glare and reflections. So the trick to not having glare or flare is by using an external light source. And that's what we have been working on for the past maybe two or three months. An external light source. Let me go over it. That's the base right here. And the light looks something like this. It's labeled Northridge Fix and it says anti-glare light. This light is built like a tank. Okay. And the light is also made out of metal for heat dissipation because you have very powerful LEDs, they're gonna heat up, and you have metal all over, end to end. The base also, the only thing plastic is the button and the dial and the caps, the caps that go on top here. Initially, you will get it like this. You need to take out the caps to install the light. So let's go ahead and do it, install the light. I can tell you that we are using high quality LEDs great white color and a lot of brightness more brightness than what you need and now we're going to attach the light to the base all you have to do is slip the light in but you have to align it you have some notches on the bottom here you have to align them with the slot here like this twist and let's do the other one so now we have two lights, one on the left and one on the right, and we can angle that light in any way, shape or form. You have the on off button and you have the dial. Look at this build. Wow. Heavy duty, really heavy. I do not know how much that light weights, but it's heavy. Everything is metal end to end. You can throw this from a 10 story building and nothing's gonna happen to it. So I expect this to last a lifetime. 
you're gonna love this light between having glare we lost color of the board we cannot tell if that board is brown or black we lost color of the components this cap is barely showing as yellow let's compare just go back look at this that's the external light and the ring light both of them i turn off the ring light and that's what we get if both of them are on that's what we get if both of them are off that's what we get so the question that you may ask what's the use of having a ring light if you have this anti-glare light you do have a lot of uses for the ring light sometimes you see things in the ring light that you cannot see with the external light maybe you are trying to read the writing on a chip maybe sometimes you're able to read it better using a ring light than an external light it depends on the situation but i find myself switching between the external light and the ring light you need to have both because you have full control of how you want light to appear on your board like for example if you have a board that has a large capacitor if i point my anti-glare light on the side that capacitor is going to block the light because it's tall it's big i end up using the ring light so i can shine light directly on the board so a combination of the ring light and the anti-glare light will give you the best result it depends on the situation and what you are doing and that's it let me know what you think leave it down in the comments and the light will be posted on our website by later tonight or tomorrow and if you want to buy it you can just log in to northridgefix.com click on shop you can buy the microscope you can buy the ring light you can buy the anti-glare light you can buy a thermal camera fume extractor power supply soldering station hot air station tweezers flux grinding pan whatever you need just add whatever you want to the shopping cart and we almost always ship out packages same day i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video